Now that the Yeti has arrived in Orlando from L.A., the Imagineers work nonstop to settle the animatronic monster into its new digs. We've come a long way. Uh, virtually everything in the exterior is complete now. The buildings have all their surfaces on them. We're beginning to install the special effects in the mountain that create the mist, that create the sounds. We'll start testing lighting. The trick is making every illusion as real as a movie come to life. One of the challenges is when we found out from the creative team that they wanted a look of mountain snow blowing off the peak. We realized that we were going to be competing with Mother Nature, and that's always a huge challenge. Mike's job is to change water into mist. The water comes out at this high pressure, this velocity. It hits a very small pin right in the direct point of it, and it atomizes the water. It just changes the entire look of the water. Voila, mist. As important as it is to get the visual effects right, it's just as important to fine tune the audio. There's this distant cry of the Yeti that you hear when you're paused up at the broken tracks in the mountain. What does the cry of an imaginary creature sound like? Gotta use your imagination. <coughs> Better leave this to the professionals. Professional sound designers, that is. hear the echo of the train whistle, but it might be as late as... The cry of the, the Yeti is only one of the sounds of the mountain. The, the other thing is this whole echo, this, this whole notion that the mountain's really big, really big. The secret of the sound is hidden in the mountain. It's on. In this attraction, we've got about 200 speakers placed throughout. A lot of them in rock work, some of them hidden under the track. With the ambience mixed in with the Doppler as we come around the corner. Like we can always adjust them independently. Okay. Yeah, let's take the next one. We can always check it from the overlook okay. as well. Yeah, essentially we have the world's biggest audio tour. After three years of preparation, it's finally time for the train to leave the station for real. I think our digital model predicted very accurately how the vehicle would move and what the show timing would be. What the model can't predict is the physical sensation of what it's like to be in that vehicle. It looks really exciting. I'm excited about the opportunity to actually finally sit in it and ride it. Finally, it's time to open the ride to the first excited guests. Attention Expedition Everest team members. There's no question that for an Imagineer, the ultimate thrill is watching a guest experience what you've been working on for years. Seeing people's faces light up when they are surprised by what you know is coming. I'm so excited, I can't wait! Surprise children. It's a thrill a minute for coaster lovers. Every twist and turn is terrifying and new as the story comes to life. The mysteriousness of you don't know where you're going or what's going to happen next. Yeah, it started off slow and then it took off. The ride going up with the rails just kind of split off and stopped. Like, what are we gonna do now? Oh no! My favorite part was going backwards. I never would have expected it. And the drop hits you in the middle of the ride, and you're not expecting it then. And all of a sudden, it's just like, whoa, there you go. And the Yeti, that hand going down, I'm, I'm right there. <laughs> I love roller coasters, and that was probably the first one that ever actually scared me. It was awesome. I loved it. I've never experienced a ride like that. Totally awesome. <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't think I knew what was happening the entire time. It, it was wicked really cool. cool. <laughs>
for every Imagineer, especially Joe Rohde. The writer's excitement echoes their love of the Everest story. It seems the attraction's as irresistible as the real thing. I hope that people can experience the feeling of adventure that we had when we went to the Himalayas. How could you not love it? It's a fantastic, fantastic environment, an incredible ride, and this incredible Yeti. I, I think it's pretty cool.